to another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes, and today we are going to get our magic carpet. We're heading to the state of Rhode Island, and boom, we're going to stop right there. So this is the smallest state in the United States, Rhode Island. That's the entire state there. It's surrounded by Massachusetts, and uh, the, see that thing that looks like a flexing arm? That's Cape Cod off Massachusetts, okay? And... In case you're wondering, this little island, that's Martha's Vineyard, and this is Nantucket, okay. And then to the west of Rhode Island, you have Connecticut, the state of Connecticut, and to the south, you have the state of New York. What? Is New York truly south of Connecticut? Yes, it is. Here is Block Island, and that's not what I'm talking about. That's actually part of Rhode Island. And just so you can get, I was wondering, I'd never even really heard of Bl uh, Block Island. So I did a little research and they said that, you know, people are into bicycling and, you know, camping and stuff like that. So when you come in here real close, and this is the beautiful thing about Google Earth, what do you see right away? What does that tell you? Well, so all these dark areas are trees. So that's nothing. It's not developed land. But when you see lots of cul-de-sacs like this, that's just housing. That's all it is. And this is just an island full of houses. This is not farmland. Now there is farmland, because when you come up here, and there's a little airport right there. If you come up here, you will see big spots like right in here. So let's, let's go in here real quick. And this is a farm, you can tell already. And one way to tell, let's get in closer here. And we see that right there, you can see the shadows. That's, those are cattle right there. Okay. And yeah, those are cows. So that's a feedlot right there. And by the way, if you ever want to go into farming, and this is just a per personal opinion, don't, don't uh, deal with livestock, be a crop farmer. You know why? Because livestock, you never get to take vacation. You're there, you have to be there all year to watch your cattle. Or else you have to hire somebody to watch your cattle for you or have a friend watch your, your cattle or your pigs. Or, But if you're a crop farmer, you have all winter to set up a vacation and take a vacation. So anyway, uh, getting off track there. So if you draw a line uh, south... Yes, New York actually is south of, of, of Rhode Island. And well, how do I know that? Well, because I put, uh, thanks to Google Earth, I drew a line stretching straight north to the Rhode Island boundary as far as I could see it on Google Earth. And it crosses over Long Island, so Long Island's part of New York. So there you have it. New York is truly south of Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state by area. It's 1,045 square miles. It's about the same size as Minneapolis, St. Paul in area. But is it the smallest state by population? And the answer is no. And here's our proof for that. Let me just pull up. Our list of states by population in California is naturally first. It's almost 40 million people. And let's go all the way down here to the bottom states. And which is the smallest state by population? That's the state of Wyoming. And then you have Vermont. The District of Columbia is even bigger. Um, it's even bigger than the District of Columbia. Alaska, that monster of the state, the largest state in size, is one of the smallest states in population, but Wyoming's the smallest. North, South Dakota, Delaware, and there we have Rhode Island. So Rhode Island actually has more population than all the states. And that population, as the last estimate, is approximately a little over a million people. Rhode Island is nicknamed the Ocean State and has a number of oceanfront beaches. It's mostly flat with predominantly humid continental climate with warm summers and cold winters. 
our travel site. Let's get on to our travel site. It's visitrhodeisland.com. So check that out for things to do, places to stay, things to see. Okay? And our old friend Zillow is going to be our real estate site again today. And we love Zillow, but uh, we're going to, I think next week we'll, we'll go back to realtor.com and we'll, uh, we'll check that out. So we're going to get right to our first home. Our first home is going for six point, it's almost $7 million. It's eight bedrooms, six baths. It's over 8,000 square feet. The lot size is a good size lot. It's 13.64 acres and it was built in the year 1900. Let's check out our first fantasy dream home.
Our second home is going for almost $7 million. It's five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 6,000 square feet. Sitting on a lot of 4.47 acres, built in the year 2010. Let's take a virtual tour of this next fantasy dream home. So I'd like to take a minute and just show you something I think you would really be interested in. If you like the YouTube channel Fantasy Dream Homes, I think you're really going to like the Pinterest page of ours. 
uh, Fantasy Dream Homes by the same name. You can find it here, right up here. Here's the uh, address, the URL address, pinterest.com slash fantasy dream homes. And if you scroll down here and we go to our boards page, you will see boards that if you like looking at luxury homes, you're gonna love this Pinterest page. We have everything from magnificent master bedrooms to ultimate master bathrooms, luxury dressing rooms, kitchen ideas for luxury homes, butler's pantry, cozy nooks and alcoves, reading rooms, you know, grand entryways, fantastic fireplaces. We also look at luxury appliances and we look at plumbing fixtures and we look at lighting and we look at staircases, swimming pools and flooring furniture, anything you would see in a uh, luxury home, this is the place to go. And if you want, like say for example, you click into architectural styles of homes, okay? You actually can see all the different, we've separated uh, all the major categories of homes, log cabins, contemporary style, craftsman, Queen Anne, Greek Revival, Tudor, Victorian. So. There's something for almost everybody who's interested in home architecture or luxury homes. So we invite you to, to please visit our Pinterest page and we'd like you to follow us on Pinterest. And we hope to see you on our Pinterest page. Thanks a lot. And our final fantasy dream home of the day is going for 16.750 million, five bedrooms, nine bathrooms. It's got 11,941 square feet. It's a good size house. It's sitting on 1.95 acres of land built in the year 2016. So let's take a virtual tour of this next fantasy dream home.
Okay, well, that wraps up another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. We hope you had a good time, and uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, checking out those amazing houses in Rhode Island. Please leave your feedback in the comments. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like about the homes, about the video. And we always ask that you become a member of our community by subscribing. And when you do subscribe, click that little bell so you see you will get um, notifications of when we put out another video, okay? But until then, we hope to see you next time here on Fantasy Dream Hopes. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.